Well, I need to make a video because I made a mistake. So this is that Makita um, 2012. It's the old version, not the 2012B. And it's the one where I made the modification to keep the chain tight. Well, this whole time I thought the chain was coming loose. That should be it there. Now that the chain was coming loose because the chain was wearing out, it's not. The chain is coming loose because these blocks right here failed. So the feed rollers, this is the in feed roller, this is the out feed roller. So this one has a lot of up and down motion. This one has a small amount of up and down motion. They're held in place with pretty much just springs that push down. Anyways, they are not bearings. They're bushing blocks and they aren't bronze bushing blocks. They're just steel bushing blocks. I thought I had a piece or two of one here, but it must've been picked up. Oh yeah, here they are. Here they are. Yeah, those used to be square with a hole in the middle of them. So yeah, well that's, that's why my chain was coming loose. I mean, it never made any weird noises or anything. And, uh, well, it never made any noises until it did. So, this one was much worse because the spring had come down into it. I mean, they're just hardened steel. Hardened steel, there's no plastic, there's no nothing, there's no, no way to oil them, no way to grease them. Anyways, if, if you're... 2012 that is the model number on this thing right where's the plate yeah there's the plate yeah uh yeah, so this is a this is a model 2012 it'd be the older one i have no idea what the 2012 b's are like inside but yeah, if your chain is starting to, so as it's feeding, it's going clunk, 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 clunk. That is actually your chain binding between the lower, the infeed roller and the drive sprocket. It loops around and then has to pop out. Well, if yours is doing that, you have bad bearing blocks. They are stupid cheap. They're like seven bucks a piece. I think delivered to your door. Go get those, and she'll run like new again. Don't be like me. I let the rollers go too far. And this roller is badly scarred up, and this one has some marks. I, Dad brought it home. I mean, this thing has been in the family since the late 1990s, and it has done tens of thousands of board feet. I can't fault the machine. It was abuse on my part. Dad brought it home. He's going to see if he can put it in the lathe, mill that flat, and and sort of cut and slip on a sleeve so that you can go back together. The other one, I think, can just be polished up. Anyways, don't, don't do what I did. This, you know, that when it started doing that many, many years ago, I just, you can't see that mark. You can't see that. I was so sure. I was so sure it was a worn out chain. And I was just cheating with a roller uh, to take up the slack until the chain was worn enough. I could take a link out of it. And instead, instead I smoked the machine. Anyways, so if you're Makita 2012, you'll know what if you're doing it, right? Ka-chunk, ka-chunk. Boards feed. They pause, there's a crunch noise, and it feeds again. That's this chain binding up right here. No, that chain is not stretched, or probably not stretched. You need to buy four of these bearing blocks. That's what you need to do. Dirt cheap. Don't be like me.